This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Dunn, and welcome you to another sports catastrophe. And today, April the 7th, the birthday boy is not my buddy who I talked about in my sports catastrophe on this day. No, it's somebody else who's a football player, and that's Tony Dorsett, who played for the Dallas Cowboys, and yes, he did play for the Denver Broncos. Not happy about that stuff, but whatever. So anyway, Dorsett was from Pennsylvania. He's now 67 years old. I think I keep forgetting that. Tell people's ages and all that. So anyway, he attended the University of Pittsburgh, which got the, and he got them the national title as a senior in 1976 and the Heisman Trophy. He was the second overall pick of the Cowboys from Se in a trade from Seattle. Man, Seattle just. Stupidly trade away the second overall pick for, I guess, trying to get more um, experience. But anyway, Dorsett won the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year and played for the team for 11 years. And then somehow decided to play for Denver. He was named to the Pro Football and College Football Hall of Fame the same year. That's rare. So anyway, he was in Pennsylvania and all that. He was an all-state star and all that. And then at the University of Pittsburgh, he became the first freshman in 29 years to be an All-American running back. Doug Blanchard of Army was the, was the one before him in 1944. He was second in the nation in rushing with over 1,500 yards in 11 games. And that Pittsburgh to his first winning season in a decade. It set the record for most rushing yards by a freshman in NCAA history. The weird thing was that Tony Dorsett's son, Anthony Dorsett, who would also be an NFL player, well, he would be a cornerback, like his dad was in high school, was born in September 73. And there was a lot of criticism. It was actually that his son was born out of wedlock. And a lot of people said that he should drop out of school and marry the son's mother and financially support his family. But he basically said that the best way to care for his son was to pursue his football career. So anyway, three games into his sophomore season, he was Pitt's all-time leader in career rushing yards. Stress in the the guy who led Pitt to a 1937 national championship, but that's how much, you know, Pitt wasn't really much of a runner. Anyway, he ended up having a gigantic game against Notre Dame in a senior year, leading Pitt over Notre Dame 31 times. As a senior, he helped Pitt win the national title, getting the Heisman Trophy and all that. Which was amazing because, I mean, University of Pitt, you don't really think they're a football power. Well, nowadays, you kind of do. But, well, they're not a power, but they're a decent team. Dorsett would be the rushing leader with 6,082 total yards before Ricky Williams surpassed in 98. Dorsett has never retired by Pitt. He was named in 2007 the seventh best college football player ever. Not a lot of scouts think that thought that he would be good in the NFL because of his small size. And he didn't want to play for Seattle. But Dallas made a trade with Seattle, trading their first round pick and three second round picks to Seattle to get that number two pick. Dorset would sign a five year one point one million dollar contract. Not per year, but total. So anyway, it was a good move for the Seahawks because their their first round pick, Steve August, was one of the most best right tackles in Seattle history. So anyway, Dorset had an instant impact, getting a thousand yards as a rookie. Well, that he held the Cowboys rushing record for a rookie until Ezekiel Elliott broke it. 
39 years later. He was basically made starter in the second half of the 77-78 season. And that helped the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, making him the first player to win the college football championship, winning the national championship one year, and then the Super Bowl the next year. In his second year, Dorsett would have 1,300 yards and nine touchdowns. Tony Dorsett didn't really have much luck. Well, in the 82 season, because of the strike, he couldn't get 1,000 rushing yards, which would have made it sixth straight year since his career started. But on the final little game of the season, he ran for 99 yard, a 99-yard touchdown, which is the longest touchdown run you can do and all that. But prior to 1985, he held out because his, his contract wasn't good enough, and he found out that Randy White got a larger contract. So anyway, Herschel Walker was signed by Dallas and moved to fullback, making Dorsett and Herschel the second Heisman backfield tandem in NFL history, you know, fullback and running back, after George Rogers and Earl Campbell of the 84 Saints. It was Dorsett. That's the problem. It created tension. And Dorsett had injuries. Herschel Walker complained to Dallas management that he was being moved around too much. Running back, fullback, receiver. Dallas caved into Herschel's demands, and Dorsett basically wanted to be traded. So he got traded in 1988 for a fifth round pick. And Denver was desperate to improve the running game because obviously Denver didn't really have much of a star running back until Terrell Davis. So, anyway, he did have over 700 rushing yards. However, during training camp for the 89 season, he Injured himself and would retire. It was amazing. And all that. So, anyway, he made four Pro Bowls, eight thousand yard rushing seasons out of nine. That's pretty good. Um, yep, he has four kids Anthony, Jasmine, Madison, and Mia. And Anthony played at the University of Pitt. And was actually in two Super Bowls with the Titans and the Raiders. Well, the Titans in 2000 and the Raiders in 2003. Both times they lost. And he's also the uncle of Ty Law, who won three titles for the, for the Patriots. Nice. He's also helping the health of athletes through awareness of sleep apnea. And Tony Dorsett said he had CTE, you know, that concussion, like, thing. So, anyway, yeah, Tony Dorsett was a pretty good running back for the Cowboys. He was basically just a superstar, although he only got one Super Bowl ring because of Pittsburgh's dominance and all that. But he's still a good player. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.